Hey there guys, please Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can easily use Signal for your Shopify app store. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is simply click add application and connect it with your Shopify account. Install. And let's just wait until it's going to connect. And here we go. So straight away when you're going to uh, access Segundo, you're going to see dashboard. In your dashboard, you would see the things you can do, but the newsletter automations templates you would see also right here. Then you have subscribers here, connections and settings, and we will go step by step and I will show you literally everything. When you're going to scroll down below, uh, you would see like Facebook leads connection, product updates, you can design with Canva, webinars, and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I will um, click here on subscribers. I will add some subscribers. Then I'm going to show you how we can easily create a newsletter and how we can create automation. So when I'm going to click on the subscribers, uh, you will have customers right here in your Shopify account. What you need to do is to simply add a customer or you would have a customer when someone is going to order your product or access a newsletter. I'm going to uh, edit just by myself here. Click save so I can use someone. Click app. Now let's find again my email marketing. So as you can see, we could got some first subscriber. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can easily create a newsletter. And now I'm going to click create a newsletter. And you have option to create what kind of newsletter you want. So what you can do is to actually create it by this. Or you can go back and click visit the template store. And now you have option to choose between multiple templates. But you need to purchase. So... To use a template newsletter, you need to use and buy and upgrade Segundo. But on the other hand, to create a newsletter by yourself, you don't have to do it. So you can click here for feature blog posts. And now title, new blog, subject, um, access our new blog. Preview text you just added here based on what is it about. Then you have template here. Again, you can choose it, also change it here. Select blog post. You just choose a blog post here. I don't have any right now, but this is where you can do it. And now the last thing you can create simple discount. And let's click create a newsletter. And voila, here we have it. So we see the preview. Uh, you can see it on mobile. You can see it also on watch. So this is how you can do it. And this is how you can simply uh, create it. They are very open rate click rate on the newsletter. I can see it right here. What I can do is to again create a new one. Like this one here. And edit it as much as you want. So that's how we can do it. The next thing what you can do is just simply create automations. And now you can do it for subscriber activity, commerce activity, product purchase, customer tagged, blog post published. There are not a lot of templates in automation in Siguno, but what you can do is to click here like abundant checkout. And now as you can see start. Uh, the automation starts for subscriber after unbundling the checkout. Wait one hour. And then I'm going to see that what they are going to get. So this is the email they will receive. And as you can see, you can also edit that. You can change the rich text. Finish shopping. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. 
and and the automation ends for subscriber once an order is placed all line items are out of stock or the email has been sent the second thing what you can do is when they when they wouldn't re react to the first mail you can send them another one so that's what you can create also you can also definitely create a welcome subscriber email and this is also pretty simple start the automation starts for a customer after first subscribing as long as the online store is live sent immediately and now you can also open uh, the automation here and you can see how it feels and you can edit it this is really the same editing as it is in when you would edit the shopify store divider so this is pretty much it how it works really easy really simple right so then you have templates and again this is something that i mentioned before uh, that you can see how they work settings and some several in settings from name from email reply email you can test email recipients let's say that you're gonna have employees or someone you work with and they will just review it and then you can also change the time format and pages and you can edit the language and billing so that's pretty much it then you have like Cyril here like that's fascinating and yep so thank you very much guys for watching if you're gonna have any questions ask me down in the comments segono is all right for in my opinion omnisend is much better comparing to segono and i like that more but i'm not like promoted or paid by second by omnisend but it is what it is so thank you very much guys for watching uh, let me down below in the comments if you have any questions about uh, any apps in shopify i'm really happy to help you and yeah have a great day and goodbye. See ya.